Doctor, you practice uh, IPT, uh, a therapy for, for cancer. Can mm -hmm. you describe how that works and why that might be more beneficial than the traditional therapies for people? Well, the insulin potentiation therapy is basically targeting cancer cells by way of insulin. We know that cancer cells have at least 16 times as many insulin receptors and mm -hmm. picks up insulin uh, more readily. And we look at insulin as a insulin receptor is, is a lock and key union which actually opens up the cell. So yes, granted, most commonly glucose in the bloodstream would go into those cells, but when that's not available, whatever else is available in the system will usually be taken up by the by the cancer cells because the door to the cell is open. So that is how we exploit the use of chemo by giving small amounts of chemo right at the point in time where the person's blood sugar is low to where they're feeling it. So for example, we give insulin, we want to bring the blood sugar down, let's say 40 in 40 minutes. And so that point in time is a slow, gradual decline in their blood sugar. They begin to feel hot and sweaty. Heart rate's a little bit fast, and they tell you they're feeling it, they're ready. That's the therapeutic moment. And that point in time, we very quickly inject the diluted chemos that we also are appropriate for that particular cancer type in that patient. Mm -hmm. We give those the chemos, usually about three of them. Uh, we target those immediately, and then we bring them back out of that low blood sugar state. They drink something, they, they give them a little glucose in the IV. That's kind of the IPT process, yeah, and along with customizing the chemos to, that, to the patient's mm -hmm. condition. So it's essentially driving and creating a gradient where we're trying to get whatever's in the bloodstream into the cancer cell, and I think you do that best by creating that open doorway into the cell through mm -hmm. the insulin and the insulin receptor. Are there people that should not try that kind of therapy, and, and what about diabetics? You know, can it work for them, or is there a different we've, sort of risk? We've treated diabetic patients. You know, you just have to, again, it's all about finding out the right insulin dose for their situation. Mm -hmm. And so we have some very thin, lean people that require two, three units, and we have some heavy set patients or type 2 diabetics that need, you know, 25, 30 units. So it's really just about getting the insulin uh, adjusted to what their, what their needs are. Mm -hmm. And Ty we monitor that so we know. Are there types of cancer that don't respond as well to this kind of therapy? You know, occasionally we do see patients that don't respond, but I can't really say it's one particular tumor type that really stands out in mm -hmm. my mind. Uh, we've seen, sometimes you get one patient, their, their type of tumor didn't respond, but then we have somebody else with the same tumor type that does respond. So again, it's very difficult mm -hmm. to kind of say that. I would say those we've seen the best in, I think, is breast, lung. Colon cancer is a little bit harder. Um, Gosh, you know, brain tumors are probably a little bit harder. They're, they're a little bit of a different. Uh, they mm -hmm. do have more, you know, do have insulin receptors. We still have seen people respond. Uh, just sometimes a little more difficult.